Hi guys, this is Creative Cuts, a channel where I build, paint and create things. I receive lots of emails from companies trying to push their businesses. Most of them I ignore. However, when the peeps from Creelty reached out asking if I was interested in trying out their Harlot Mage Pro 3D printer, I didn't have to think twice. They were very easy to deal with and when I received a delivery notification, I was pretty excited. The agreement was to review the printer and to also build something with my prints. So in this video, I'll give you a completely honest review of the printer and let you know how I got on using it. I will be back to my usual building video soon, so if you don't want to miss anything, then hit the subscribe button, support the channel by hitting the like button, and let me know in the comments below if there's anything specific you would like to see me build. When the delivery came, I was greeted with a pretty big heavy box. Then the delivery driver went back to his van and pulled out another boot box. Huge props to Creelty here. Not only did they send me a printer, but they also sent me a wash and cure machine too. Thank you, and a really welcome surprise. So like a kid at Christmas, I began to open the boxes. There was clearly a process to opening the box, and after a little head scratching, I saw they had these two handy release catches. Once removed, the lid of the box came off easily. The printer looked really well packed and is always a sign of a quality product in my opinion. I continued removing the packaging and then the next feature became apparent. I had a couple of 3D printers already and there's always the constant faff of taking the lid on and taking it off finding somewhere to put it. It's a small gripe, but Creelty seemed to have solved this by hinging the lid and flipping it up like a visor. Now if I said I didn't play with this for longer than I should have, with a huge smile on my face making sci-fi noises, I'd be lying. <laughs> Now, as expected with the high-end product, you get all the bits and bobs needed to get you printed. I had a quick look through and saw some things that would be really useful, and others that I had no idea what they were and I probably wouldn't use, but overall, a nice touch. What was also included was a free year subscription to Chitu Box Pro. Again, a nice way of making the printing process as hassle-free as possible. Next comes a personal favourite of mine, the protective plastic peel. Nothing like a shiny new bit of acrylic. And with everything open, I could get my first real look at this machine. And what struck me immediately was the size of the thing. Much bigger than both my other printers, but on first impressions, it looks like a really quality product. I went through the same process with the Watson Cure machine. Again, well packaged, a bunch of freebies and parts included. And lots more protective film to peel. Again, this looks like a quality product with some really nice design choices. Check out this heatsink for the lights. So simple, but really nice and clean in my opinion. I switched the printer on to check if everything was working and was met by this happy marching dude on the screen. Somehow this makes me smile every time I see it. Now one of the many features of the Harlot Mage Pro is the resin pump. I can start to see a theme with this now. It seems like they've really tried to take as much of the hassle out of 3D printing. The idea is that you load your resin straight from the bottle into the pump, which feeds directly into the resin vat. The idea is you load your resin straight from the bottle into a pump, which feeds directly into the resin vat. 
press a single button and voila, the resin starts pumping. Now, I'll be 100% honest here and say that whilst I was very impressed with the printer build quality overall, this aspect felt a little cheap, very plastic and the spout where the resin feeds into the vat looks a little cheap and fragile. The whole process is also a bit slow. I really like the idea but think this aspect could have been executed slightly better. Nonetheless, I'm happy that companies are still trying to be innovative and find novel ways of making the overall printing experience much more fun. Now, I could have printed a bunch of test prints to tweak the exposure settings, but where's the fun in that? I decided to throw caution to the wind and load up this massive 10.3 inch plate with models and just go for it. Let's see what it can do out of the box. What could possibly go wrong? The 3D printing process is still like magic to me and I love watching amazing models form in the gloopy liquid. This model has what's called the Dynax setting, which as far as I understand it is like a turbo mode. Super fast prints, apparently with little expense of printing quality. Great for quickly testing out ideas, I suppose. I will experiment with this later, but for now I just stayed in the normal mode. The printer itself is not the most quiet printer I've ever used, with a noticeable constant whir of a fan, but not so loud to be a deal breaker. Once the print was done, I emptied the remaining resin back into my bottle with the resin pump. Hassle free, but very slow. While the pump was draining most of the liquid out of the vat, I removed the minis from my build plate. I washed the models in the wash machine. This is as simple as putting them into the basket and pressing a button. Once washed, I put the models on the supplied mirrored disc and pressed the button to cure them. <laughs> the models went flying after the first rotation and I chuckled realizing there's a choice of speeds. After correcting my mistake and setting it to normal speed, it worked perfectly. I have to say a huge thank you to Creelty for sending me this too. I had made a strange MacGyver UV curing station with an old plastic pot and lots of UV LED strips and a washing station which consisted of a couple of jars of alcohol. This worked but it was a lot of faff and usually pretty messy. Having spent a few days printing, washing and curing my models with this machine, I can truly say it has made the whole printing experience really quite fun. I can thoroughly recommend this machine if you're on the fence about getting one and trust me it's a quality of life product that you'll kick yourself for not getting one sooner. When I took the models out I could immediately tell that the print quality was crisp and clear and the quality that you would expect from a high-end product. I'm sure with a little fine-tuning and experimentation I could get this even better but as a straight out the box test print, I was really impressed. So my overall thoughts on the Harlot Mage Pro, a quality, well-built, well thought out bit of kit that has been in constant use ever since I've got it. The Mage Pro is absolutely brimming with features, including a smart air filter with a huge surface area and a massive print space. It is Wi-Fi enabled, so you can send prints directly to your printer from your computer. It states to be three to five times faster than the competition. Now, whether you need all these added features is something you can decide on depending on your needs and your budget. If you want a cheaper option, then the Harlot Mage model could be something to consider. But if you want an all singing, all dancing, feature loaded machine, then the, the Mage Pro is a quality printer that could be worth considering. Thank you to Creelty for sending me these great machines. 
And I thank you guys for taking the time to watch and supporting the channel. And be sure to stay tuned as I will be doing a crazy build with some of the prints from this printer in my next build. See you in the next video. Peace.